Hi golfers, Nick here from Nick Taylor Golf. It's Friday, so welcome to another episode of Golf Tips. This week on Golf Tips, we're going to discuss the short game. I've had a few comments recently asking me my opinion on the short game. And in this series of lessons, I've not actually covered the short game. So we're going to discuss that today. So I think it's quite important to use a good wedge. So the grooves are sharp and the grooves are clean. That's very important when you're playing these shots around the green to have any consistency, any control, you need to make sure the grooves are clean. If your wedge is a little bit old and they're wearing out, maybe it's time to change it. So we're gonna look at the technique and one of the biggest mistakes I find with the short game is that golfers, when they set up, they have the handle too far forward. The problem with that is it doesn't utilize the bounce and you need some sort of interaction with the bounce as it goes through the turf. So if you look at the angle from the leading edge to the back of the club, you can see it slopes away. So that's the bounce angle. If you, the more you push the handle forward, the more you take away that bounce angle. So in the short game, if you're taking away the bounce, your margin for error is a lot smaller. And I find a lot of golfers that sort of stab it and thin it, their hands are too far forward and then they try and keep them forward. And then if they thin one, they, they may even try and push them further forward. And I think that's where a lot of problems arise. So I see the long game and the short game very differently. I think in the long game, you want to have the hands in front as you go through to compress the golf ball. But in the short game, I like to see the hands a little bit more neutral. So let's take a look at the uh, stance here. So where I think golfers go wrong is they have the weight on the left and the hands forward. Nothing wrong with having the weight on the left, but I think the hand should be just slightly ahead. So there's a minimal amount of shaft lean there. I like to have the club face slightly open as well. Ball position central, feet pretty close together. And then when I hit through, I want to try and just brush the turf, try and return the club shaft back to the same angle it was at address. Left wrist slightly cupping as it goes through, like that, just to help me use the loft, help me use the bounce to sort of pop the ball up into the air. So let's play a shot. Ball position central, weight forward, handle slightly forward, club face slightly open. Just going to return the club shaft and the hands back to a similar position as I go through. You can see there, I nip that quite nicely, just use the loft to pop it up into the air. So I'm going to play this shot from a few different angles so you can see how I set up, position my hands, angle of the club face as I go through. So golfers, if you're one of those players that with the short game, they may have the hands too far forward and sort of try and keep them forward as they go through. I'm not saying it doesn't work, but I'd like to hear your comments on that. Um, so post them in the box below. Or if you've got any other questions, you can contact me on other social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. from this angle as I go through my head my cat's sort of facing this way at this point that's allowing me to turn that's quite important 